get one out of two, that's pretty good. <laughs> 30, 29 out of 33 is just remarkable. Taylor, Joel Corey, racking them up again now, up to 20, to centre half back. Plenty of cats. Enright, brilliantly done. Mackey to space. Advantage will be paid, I think. Selwood's got the football. Well, blew the whistle a second time, then said play on. They get in behind the zone again. Lonigan needs to mark it, and he does. Upended. Down he goes. Oh, he's not going to report him. Hodge is getting reported. And it's 50 back here, Luke. I know you were going for the ball, but you ended up hitting him in the head. That'll be interesting because I'm sure the ears of those people who go to the tribunal on Hawthorne's behalf would have pricked up there. I know you were going for the ball, but you hit him in the head. <laughs> ah, yes. I reckon he would, he'll get his say if he goes to the tribunal anyway, you know? Lonigan, point blank range. Gets that kick, his first of the night, and it's good. Well, we've mentioned Geelong's uh, domination, the forward 50. Maybe they're doing something that's more subtle than I can say. But this one, simply, when you're running back with a flight of the ball, you're in trouble. All you can do is keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> well. Uh, His hand was very close to the ball, so that should help him a lot, I would have thought, in the next stage of uh, his guilt or innocence. From memory, Hodge was one of four players who didn't play in the opening round last year because they were suspended for yeah. Hawthorne. Yeah. That uh, his fist actually bounced off the ball into uh, into Lonigan's chin, but he's been reported seven times in his career, Luke Hodge, and he hasn't got off one.